Hello guys, Marie here and I'm back with another sketchbox and this is January's one and yeah, I am really really excited about this one and I think I say that about all the boxes I open but yeah, there are some really interesting stuff in here I think that I haven't tried before and that is really the great thing about these art supply subscription boxes that you get a bunch of art supplies and materials that you haven't tried before If you would like to try out the sketchbox yourself there is a link in the info box below to where you can purchase one or two or even more if you want to and if you use the code CATBUG2017 when you're placing the order on their website you will get 10% off on your first box isn't that just awesome? I'm not sponsored by sketchbox or anything I get these boxes for free to play around with and show you so yeah, that is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna open this and show you the supplies inside and then I'm gonna try to make something with them, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, let's open the box. The featured artist of this month is Rose Ingracia and I hope I said that right. And she made this really pretty lady in a spider hat. A list of all the supplies and their retail prices, which can be very handy if you like any of the supplies and want to get more of them. I got the premium box this month, but there is also a basic one that you can choose that is a little less expensive. First we have this sketchbox signature water brush and they have included their own water brushes before in previous boxes but this is the first flat one I think and I don't have any of those, I only have the round ones and you can fill this little container with watercolors or ink or liquid acrylic or whatever you like but I will fill mine with water because I want to use it as a paintbrush Next we have this Kuretake Sig brush pen that is a little like this water brush but it is filled with ink instead. I do have a lot of these pens now that I got in other boxes but I don't have any with a small nib like this one. Then we have this manuscript gold and silver set and these are two metallic calligraphy pens and according to the info card these should be some of the most bold metallic pigments out there so yeah that sounds very interesting it is for us to find out then to the star in this box and these are called Gansai Tambi Starry Colors from Kuretake in a set of six and this looks so beautiful and the pants are really really big too and these are metallic watercolors and they should shimmer and shine I'm so excited about these ones, I can't wait to try them So yeah, that are all the supplies in this box I am very curious to try them, so let's go! As usual, I start with making some test swatches to get a better picture on how the materials are to work with and how they look on the paper. The calligraphy pens are very opaque and they don't seem to clog as easy as other metallic pens that I've used before. And they don't smell at all, which I think is great. The metallic watercolors are not as opaque as the pens, of course, but they seem to be very rich and vibrant. And of course I had to draw one of my unnatural creatures with animal features and too many eyes. It is just my way of trying to add interesting elements to the drawing. And I wanted to incorporate the metallic paint too, so I gave her a head jewelry and a necklace. It is more like a chest plate really. And I'm using a pilot color in a mechanical pencil for the sketch on Fabriano Bristol board for those who are wondering. All the info about all the stuff that I use in this video will be down in the description box below, so check that out if you want to. I wanted her hair to be black, so it would be in contrast to the metallic colors, but I didn't want it to be solid black directly from the ink pen, so I drew with it on a piece of plastic and then I added a bit of water to it to make it more translucent, like ink wash kind of, which worked okay I think, besides that the ink dried so so fast and I had to work really really quick, and it turned out a little streaky, but I liked the effect of it. Then 
Then I started adding the metallic paint and wow, I love these, especially the red gold one, the darkest of them. It was actually quite opaque and turned out so beautiful. They are super shimmery and looks like real metal. I am really impressed by these. And I used the calligraphy pens for her headpiece and I really like the silver one. The gold one looks great too on its own, but compared to the other warmer gold tones that I'm also working with, it looks kind of greenish and not as pretty. I wasn't a huge fan of painting with a flat paintbrush, it is really hard to fill in smaller details with. For the circle around her head though, it was great since it is a larger area and it gave a nice and even layer of colors, but for the smaller details I would have preferred a round brush, which I actually used a little around her eyes, so I cheated a little. But the brush itself seemed to be very good though, so I will probably use it again. Then to the fun part, outlining it all with the ink pen. I really love adding all these little details and lines to make the whole drawing come together. I've had a little trouble using these pens before, the larger ones. I found them very hard to control and they have turned out a little streaky, even if I pushed out a lot of ink to the brush nibs. Uh, this one, however, was actually quite easy to use and it gave nice clean lines. And you could do some really really thin lines too if you used a very light hand pressure. I used the lightest of the metallic colors, that is like a warm silver tone for her shirt or the dress. It is more like fabric draped around her shoulders and when painting over the black lines with the paint, the lines turned out a little lighter, which makes it look like see-through fabric, kind of. I don't know, but I really like the look of it. I do wish that I had erased some of the red lines before I started painting though. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I liked all the supplies in the box, especially the metallic paints. I really liked the character as well, it turned out quite interesting. And I hope you like it too, leave a like and a comment if you did. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to my channel, help me reach 200,000 subs, we are pretty close now. And if you like to try out the sketchbox yourself and find out about new and interesting supplies, don't forget to use the code CATVAG2007 when placing the order to get 10% off on your first box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Keep drawing my happy cats! Bye!